Hi, we're, this is the video blog all about the inspiration for my design for the Scotland Pavilion for Expo 2010. The theme for the Expo was Better City, Better Life. So I decided the best place to start was in the closest city to where I live, Edinburgh, and in particular down here in the area of Leith Docks. OK, so why Leith? The port of Leith is located three miles from the city centre and was once the home to a thriving shipbuilding and fishing industry with docks that were full of cargo ships and cruise liners that sailed the world. The docks at Leith underwent severe decline after the Second World War and the area had a reputation for roughness and prostitution. Based on the banks of the Firth of Forth, you suddenly realise that each of Scotland's six cities have a connection with the water, either on rivers or coasts. That makes our cities unique in the UK. This link to water was what inspired me to create a design that would feature water or waves. Leith Docks was an industrial area, as docks usually are, but recently Leith has seen the start of a 30-year regeneration plan that will see the area develop for the future, mixing old and new, industrial and residential, fit for purpose and fashionable. Whilst the once industrial polluted and desolate banks of the water of Leith, they're going to be cleaned up and a public walkway will be opened up with artworks along its route, including work by Anthony Gormley. Extending to 144 hectares, Fourth Port's development plans for Edinburgh's waterfront at Leith Docks will help create a world-class waterfront destination. It will be a major new driving force in the economies of Edinburgh region and of Scotland, with a choice of new housing, new businesses, industry, community facilities, open spaces and a diverse variety of leisure facilities, mainly based all around the water. The development has been planned as a sustainable community where people will want to live, work and play. So, this is Leith Docks, home to the UK's largest waterfront regeneration project. The first thing you notice on approaching Leith Docks is Ocean Terminal. This opened in 2001. Uh, with a half a million square feet of shopping and leisure space on three floors and its sector expand into a casino complex and concert venue. This retail and entertainment centre is home to the Royal Yacht Britannia, a magnet for 400,000 tourists a year. Now this is no way at all the inspiration for the pavilion, it is just a place to park. The area is being designed as a terminal for cruise ships, such as the Marco Polo that was docked here today, the flagship of the cruise and maritime line. It was just about to sail off to the Mediterranean. You can see some of the new development out in the background. Well, wouldn't you know? And without me knowing, you step out of a store to find that you can't leave the expo behind. Throughout the month of August, there's a touring exhibition on Shanghai and the 2010 Expo on display in Ocean Terminal to give shoppers and visitors to the restaurants, cinema and Britannia information on the history of Shanghai over the last 100 years and why it was chosen as host city for the Expo. It also features a display on the UK Pavilion and the history of the Expos. Strolling along the cobbled pedestrian walkway of what used to be the East, West and Victoria docks, you see few signs of what used to be here, but mainly you see the warehouse buildings and the old railway tracks still visible in the cobbles. This area down here in Commercial Quay was full of warehouses, where they kept whiskey until the duty was paid. 
The warehouses are now converted into offices, small businesses and restaurants, notably Tom Kitchen's Michelin starred restaurant. Tom started his career in Kinross, which is where I'm from, so I've met him a few times. His philosophy is from nature to plate and he uses local seasonal produce and I decided to include a small taster restaurant into my pavilion design for Tom to promote sustainable and Scottish cuisine to the people of Shanghai. Here also is the Scottish Executive Building which stands on reclaimed ground where docks have been filled in. The yet again delayed tram system will eventually stop at Ocean Terminal and the Scottish Executive Building but as yet there's no timeline to tell us when that's going to happen. There's even outdoor seating here, trying to bring a bit of cafe culture to Leith Docks, though on day like today, which was incredibly windy, it's not quite as appealing as the south of France. The regeneration plans will provide over 16,000 new homes and jobs for thousands of local people, including new parks, public spaces and areas for events and festivals, and will transform Edinburgh into an international waterfront city over the next 30 years. The plan is for nine new interconnecting sustainable waterfront villages on 144 hectares of brownfield land, some of which you can still see today. The main features of the framework include plans to create all the new homes and affordable homes, the new open and civic spaces, public walkways and three kilometres of coastal boardwalk which will become accessible for public use. They're going to create view corridors in the nine new waterfront villages. View corridors are going to offer views to key landmarks in the city centre, including the Edinburgh Castle, Colton Hill and Arthur's Seat, linking the waterfront to the city centre. These developments fitted very well with the brief for the Expo 2010, where sustainability and regeneration are key factors that most of the nations taking part have promoted through their pavilions. Not quite sure with the economy the way it is, how quickly the regeneration will take place, and certainly quite a lot of the residential development looks as if it's still empty. One of the first buildings regenerated down here on the docks was the Malmaison Hotel. This was once a seaman's mission and even a house of ill repute for ladies of the night, but now it's a luxury hotel. This is the first of the Malmaison chain and it has an impressive baronial facade overlooking the rejuvenated shore area. The area has developed along with it. The walk along the shore to the Malmaison has got many sculptures, benches and fresh flowers, making it a much more pleasant environment. has an annual Leith Festival running usually in June between the 11th and the 20th, holding over 100 events in 50 venues all around Leith, all celebrating the heritage, culture and diversity of the area. A lot of the boats you can see here have been converted into offices and restaurants. So this is a little quick tour around Leith Docks, only a small portion of it may in mind, and in the next video blog I will show you some images that inspired me and how the design is developed. So that's all for now from Leith. Bye for now.